So yeah, Courtney, I mean, like how, how can you even begin to imagine to sort of uh, win Western States, three weeks later, win Hard Rock, 100 milers, I think 20, I want to say 26 hours uh, or more, um, both course records, um, and then come to UTMB and dominate and win by more than an hour. Um, and, you know, you'd, ha you'd have to say that, I, I mean, I think she said before the race that she was feeling tired before going into UTMB. It's not a race you want to start on the start line tired. Can't even imagine kind of the, you know, the mentality. Her running in the last two, three hours looked pretty labored. Um, so, you know, na of course, naturally, um, you know, she wasn't as sort of springy as, as, as Jim was in the last stages, but, um, she got it done, and um, and those weren't just the 300 miles that she'd done this summer. So within like I, I want to say an eight-week period, three 100 miles is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but she'd also won a 100k race and something else earlier on in the year as well. She she has dominated this year, and we're only we're only just entering the uh, the third third of the year. So we're in the kind of um, we've got a month until the final quarter of the year and there's still, there's still things to play for. You know, hopefully she has some time off. She was laughing and joking about her pacer, like a main pacer. I think, I'm not sure if it's a husband or a boyfriend, but you know, one of the main pacers. Imagine pacing all three hundred mile races or at least a marathon within, within, within a space of eight weeks. That would be a hard enough job itself, let alone win them. But, you know, is she, is she an outlier? Um, Meaning, like, is she a Chrissy Wellington? Uh, when when Chrissy came along um, and sort of dominate, not not just dominated triathlon and um, an Ironman, but also like would compete with with the men and would have the men like running scared, and would often come sort of maybe like top three, top five, top ten in the men's race as well, which is insane. You know, set course records, set world records. Um, is Courtney an outlier like that? I think so. I don't think this says much about uh, like a, any lack of depth or strength in the women's race. But could you do the same in the men's race? I, I don't. I I want to say I don't think so. Um, I don't think. I don't think, for instance, if you saw Tom Evans, I don't. I don't think it would be possible for Tom to then go three weeks later win Hard Rock uh, or any any I gym or. Um, or Zach or any, any, I can't think of any male athlete from the past. Nobody's ever done this before. So it's unprecedented, but at the same point, I don't, I don't think it's possible. Like um, the only kind of comparable situation in running I've ever heard of is Emil Zatopak from 1952 Olympics. Uh, the Czech athlete who won the 5,000 and the 10,000 and we're only talking like a, a 40 minute race and a 28 minute race at the time. And then think, well, we haven't got anybody, Czech, uh, Czechoslovakia hasn't got anybody in the marathon, so I'll have a go at the marathon. And literally laughing and joking with um, one of the British athletes to say, is this too slow? And then uh, sarcastically, the British guy said to him, yeah, this is too slow. So we went off and, uh, and eventually won the marathon. Didn't drink any water. Um, and at the end, the journalist asked him, why didn't you drink any water? Um, why didn't you stop at any of the drink stations? And he, he said, I'm not joking, um, he said that he thought that he had to pay for the water, so he didn't because he was just so used to running five and 10,000 where you, you don't drink anything. So he won, he's the only athlete to have won the 5,000, the 10,000 and the 15, uh, sorry, and, and the marathon um, in an Olympics. So it's that kind of, it's that special for her to go out and win. So, but to win it by that far and to be uh, that many hours, kind of talking 20% away, 20% away in time, away from Jim's time. Jim's time was of course, a you know, course record. I think Zach was there or thereabouts as well with a course record. Um, to her, for her to be 20% back, I think only says that she's done 200 miles and before and she retired on the start line but she's still gone and done the job got the win um so i think i think that's powerful it doesn't it doesn't take anything away from the strength and depth of the women's race um i think i think jim's certainly like done something really special i i was i was shocked that zach could stay with that um um 
I, I I love the guy's spirit, and you know, it's obviously super talented. There's nobody up there that isn't super talented, but for uh, to stick with Jim and to be that close, and to for, you know, to make Jim nervous up until the, you know the final kind of couple of hours, is is something special as well. So all all around an amazing race, but be interesting to see be interesting to see what Courtney could do if she just focused completely on UTMB and what time she could, could she could run on that because I I would imagine that she would be quite comfortably in the top 10 men quite comfortably if not top five and um, I don't know what the course record is for the women but uh, you'd, you'd have to say she'd be able to take a couple of hours off that easily by the way that she was running uh, you'd have to say she would be able to take a couple of hours off the time that she ran on a couple of days ago. Everything's gone all into one, but yeah. So yeah, Courtney, Courtney, what what an athlete! In insanely, insanely brilliant.